We vibing. Rangers won. Let's go. All right, let's talk about last night's game. So, we played against the best team in the league last night, arguably, and we won. We somehow snuck out with a freaking win. I am cold right now. That heat is going on. It is 62 degrees in my room. Turn that bitch on 63. Let's go. Any hooser. Um, so, they well over doubled us in shots. Near damn tripled us. Um, we actually out face off them, which is interesting. Same amount of pims. Did not take a lot of penalties last night, which is good. We out hit them. We out blocked them. We did have more giveaways. So, an interesting fact from this. Actually, we'll talk about that later. Um, Panarin had a good game. Panarin looked active last night. Like, that was the most active Panarin has looked this season. Like, the most, like, into it he's looked. Lafreniere, I thought, had a pretty damn good game, too. He looked into it. Did not get a whole lot of ice time, which is odd. Gauthier had a really good game. Didn't even get nine minutes. Strom had a good game. Rooney played solid. Kreider played really good. Kreider's been out of this world this season. I don't know what the hell got into him. Barkley Goudreau was awesome at center. I hope they don't split up that Goudreau, uh, Lafreniere, Gauthier line. That was a very good line. Keep them together. Kako had a good game. It really sucks, of course, his fucking first point of the season, which was a beautiful dish of Panarin. Is gonna get, it got taken back because of this fucking goalie interference. Hunt played. I, there's no reason Hunt and Reeves Hunt and Reeves play more than Gauthier and Lafreniere. There's no fucking way that happens. But either way, I thought they both had really good games. I thought Reeves had a really good game last night. Uh, Blay played well. Again, you didn't really see him for very much. I thought he did well on that first line with uh, with Kreider and Zibanejad. It's weird. I think I think Blaze having a bit of a, a bit of an identity crisis, where he doesn't know if he's gonna be more of a scorer or a get in your face type guy. I think he would benefit more from being a get in your face type guy and almost falling into a Derek Brassard type role if he can. Um, I just think he's mm, not trying too much, but he does kind of stick handle himself in his submission sometimes. I would like to see Blaze continue to just be a good four checker. Big tape to tape passes like he's making, and just full head of steam in the offensive zone. He's got good hands; he can make those moves, but let that come over time. Don't don't be trying to force up. But either way, I love the way Sammy Bay plays plays since he got here. Um, Zbanja had an awesome game last night too. I didn't realize he had two assists last night. That's fucking awesome. All right, because he assisted on the Carter rebound. That's right. Um, he played. Zbanja played awesome last night. See, Zbanja has looked consistent this season. I really can't remember a game where Zbanja looked out of this world or looked terrible. He's just been consistent. Truba had a really good game last night. Uh, Nemeth played well. Um, Fox, I mean, it's Adam Fox. What, what else am I going to say? Lundqvist had a pretty solid game. You don't really see him very much. He doesn't He doesn't get enough minutes to really say, oh, he stood out last night. He kind of just plays. Lindgren played well. Keandre Miller, was that was the best game I've ever seen him play in his career. He was flying up the ice. He was making plays offensively. You saw that freaking goal, by the way. That was gross. Making plays offensively, making plays defensively. He's up, he's back. He was all over the ice, and Keandre Miller was awesome last night. Shesty bailed his F out. The fact that he gave up three goals, uh, excuse me, is not an indictment on him. It's an indictment on our defense, especially late in the game. No reason. No reason for us to have another third period collapse. He gave up three goals in that third period. Abysmal. It's ridiculous how fucking bad we are in the third period. Like, seriously, we look like we stepped on a bunch of Legos walking out of the room to enter the third period. We look like shit. We sucked in the third period. But, either way. Um, speaking of the New York Rangers um, and this game last night. So, the Rangers, I mean, to me, it looked like we were dominating that game. It did. But when you actually take a look at the numbers, the Panthers controlled the puck more than three quarters of that game. That's a lot. So the Rangers were well over a negative 25 Corsi last night. That's a lot. But we snuck out a win. So I don't know if the... Because this is not like the Florida Panthers I feel like I've been watching. So I've watched a few Panthers games this year. I watched them play the Hurricanes the other day when they just dummied them. The Panthers looked slow. They looked a little bit out of it. And I don't know why. Did they? I don't know if they played the night before, but they just didn't look there. Um, but I don't give a shit because the Rangers freaking won, and that's huge. The Rangers don't play again until Saturday, so I'll take a win on the on Saturday. Gallant was pissed about that third period, and rightfully so. I would be pissed about that third period. I was pissed about that third period. I was ready to take on my phone and start recording a fucking overtime review because it looked like we were going to get dummied. Um, we're second in our division, not in point percentage. If you sort by point percentage, the Rangers are actually out of a playoff spot right now. So we got to root for Columbus, Philly, and Washington to start losing some games because we're not really up there right now. If you take a look at the entire league in terms of point percentage, the Rangers dropped all the way down here. We were, like, up here. 
We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th in the league now in point percentage. You can attribute that to blowing fucking leads or losing in overtime. Um, if you sort by wins, we move up a little bit. We are tied 5th. Uh, in terms of goals for, the Rangers are actually all the way down. Actually, not even all the way down. We're down pretty far. Goals against. Abysmal towards the bottom. Goal differential. I think we're the only playoff team with a negative goal difference right now. The only team in a playoff spot. Um, but either way, I don't really care about that. Um, games played. The Rangers are up there in games played. That's why we're probably seeing such a hiatus. You know, it sucks because right now we're sitting fifth in the league, but more likely than not, I mean, Minnesota's got two games to get at least a point to tie us. Washington's got one game to get a point. Um, St. Louis has three games to get two points. Like, it sucks that we're not going to be able to sit on this being fifth in the NHL for very long, but it's cool while it's here. And like I said, the only team with a negative goal differential. <sighs> so frustrating. Um, but, yeah, it'll be nice while it's here. We do got to root for some teams to lose, though. I don't know if it happens or not. Um, also, we got to figure out what's going on with Filipino. They say he's day-to-day. -day. That could be upgraded. That could be downgraded. I honestly don't know what's going to come of it. If he is out long term, I definitely think the Raiders should look for a solution for center. And my favorite option would be Tomas Hurdle. How likely that is to happen, I don't know. Um, look at that, dude. Fucking leading the league in points for defensemen. Absolute stud muffin. Fuck crazy. Dude, how about Cedar and Raymond, dude? What the fuck, man? The Red Wings are kind of going crazy. Um, yeah. I just, I just like looking at that. I just love looking at that. Um, absolutely love it. You love to see that. Fuck you, Dowdy. Um, anyways, all right, that's really all I got for today. I gotta get ready for school. Uh, but you guys comment below your thoughts. Actually, hold on. There's one more point I wanted to make. Did the garden not sound really quiet last night? For a team that was up four nothing, the garden sounded like eerily quiet. The seats look pretty empty. What the fuck is going on? Is Rangers attendance down? Are the decibels down too? Like, or am I the only, am I going crazy? Because I, I feel like I'm the only one noticing this. The garden looks very quiet. It sounds very quiet. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know, but it, it just it looked desolate and like like I was hearing things at the garden that you really only hear for like Florida Panthers games, like when they suck, not when they're good, like when they were trash. Like you're hearing like the puck bouncing off the boards really loud or hitting a pad really loud. Like I don't know. The garden just seemed very quiet lately. Very quiet. Not a lot of fans in the stands. It's odd. Don't really mess up that team that much, or I don't know. Either way, comment below your thoughts. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.